Welcome to Choose Spirit Now, your tool for spiritual awakening. I'm Ginger Dunaway, and I want to thank you for tuning in to this guided meditation, which is all about letting go of jealousy in a flash. Before we begin, I want to express my gratitude to you for allowing Choose Spirit Now to be your tool for living life fully awake. So jealousy can come over us in a flash. And if your ego has the reins, you convince yourself that you are too good to be jealous and that this person that is bringing up this discomfort in you is really at fault and you have all the evidence in the world to prove it. This is a good time to observe the ego and how downright mean it is, but also how cunningly manipulative it can be as well. So let's begin the meditation so that those of you who are in that flash of jealousy right now can get out of the discomfort as quickly as possible. So take a moment to sit nice and tall. If you are sitting in a chair, don't rest your back on the chair, but scoot closer to the edge of the seat so that you can sit without using the backrest. Try and get your pelvis in alignment so that it supports the rest of the spine. Maybe even arch the lower back for a nice stretch and then allow that lower spine to come back to neutral. Feel the rest of the spine growing long and tall all the way up through the crown of your head. Open the heart, relax the shoulders. You will feel your abdominals engage as your body comes into alignment. This enables you to access any emotional energy that may be swirling around that lower belly. Remember that lower belly is where the second chakra or the emotional body is. So it is important when you're having an intense moment of an emotion as toxic as jealousy to make yourself sit up tall and draw awareness to this area. Engage the abdominals to lengthen this area, but at the same time soften in that lower belly to get some nice deep breaths drawn in. You should be well aware of lots of discomfort as you begin bravely facing this emotion on an energetic level so that you can release it. Simply begin to breathe into this emotional body. Whatever it takes, don't let the discomfort win out and cause you to hold the breath or shallow breathe. You want to start drawing the breath down deep into that emotional body so that you can face these uncomfortable feelings. Close your eyes and really allow these feelings to come up. Cry if you need to, but allow yourself to experience the discomfort. Allow this particular person, person that has brought up this discomfort to come into your mind's eye. Notice any negative thoughts or beliefs running through your head about this other person or about yourself in relation to this other person. Let yourself get pulled into the anger toward this other person or the sadness or the self-pity as you compare yourself to this person and feel that you don't measure up. Simply allow any and all thoughts, beliefs, and judgments to rise to the surface and make yourself wallow in them as you keep the breath moving and deep. Cry, sob, get angry. Keep going as you ask yourself the following questions. Is there something you believe about yourself that has caused you to react this way to this particular person? What is it about this person that has triggered this belief about yourself? Has this been triggered before by a different person?
even if this person did something that wasn't wasn't appropriate or wasn't very nice, can you still see how it triggered a response in you that didn't feel good or right? Do you want to get to a place in which your feelings are not dependent upon the people around you and their actions? Are you ready to get to a place in which you can see the good in this other person no matter what? Are you ready to get to a place in which you can see that amazing qualities in other people do not take away from who you are? Are you ready to be able to see past the ego in yourself and this other person and see the spirit inside you both that connects you both? If so, then take a moment now to imagine that you are looking at this other person standing in front of you. Imagine that you can see them not just as a person standing in front of you, but a person with a life, with stress, with hardships. Now take a moment to remember that a soul entered this being as a baby at birth, just as your soul did. On some level, you decided to cross paths to remind each other of something. That we are all more than the body and the self-image that we are trying to attain. Jealousy threatens this self-image. But we are so much more than that. This person isn't here to make your life a living hell. This person is here to remind you that you are, as God created you in his image, a spiritual being that is whole, perfect, and eternal. A spiritual being that is one with all other spiritual beings, long lost friends, all of us. But only lost in the ego, which makes us want to dislike even hate each other sometimes, distance ourselves from one another, making it even more difficult for us to get back to the truth. As you continue to imagine this person standing in front of you, see if you can warm your heart towards them. Keep breathing deep and feel the rigidity soften in the torso as you choose to love this person rather than push them away. Feel the peace that comes over you from this simple shift, what A Course in Miracles calls the miracle. Now, make a resolution to stay vigilant any time the ego tries to draw you into this manipulation and make you feel separate or better than someone else. Make a resolution to see through this manipulation and choose a different perspective. Choose to see through the ego. Choose spirit now. Choose to forgive yourself anytime the ego pulls one over on you and come back to this meditation anytime. The only thing you will lose is a lot of discomfort and heartache. What you will gain is the remembrance of God's peace that is here for you in every moment. Notice if you feel totally free of this jealousy. Ask yourself what feels better the discomfort that you felt before from this toxic emotion or the peace you now feel in letting that ego guard down and choosing love over judgment and separation. Now let's take a moment for gratitude. Gratitude for this life, the 
seemingly good, the seemingly bad, but gratitude for every moment in this life that we are so fortunate to have for as long as we are meant to have it. Gratitude for being open enough to be tuned into our guidance that is leading us to let go of these separating thoughts, beliefs, judgments, and emotions so that we can remember the connection between us all and live this life fully and completely awake. Namaste. The light in me is the light in you. We are all connected. Namaste. If you want to be a part of sharing this message, sharing this tool for living life fully awake, then share this meditation through social media. Let others know about my guest list and let's keep ourselves moving toward a more awakened people. This is Ginger Dunaway with Choose Spirit Now, your tool for spiritual awakening. Have a wonderful day living life fully and completely awake.